Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keep Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about snails in your aquarium and whether snails are good or bad, uh, the positives and negatives, and pretty much everything that I know about snails. Now, this is gonna be a very broad video and I'm just gonna start off by saying that I really like snails and I think snails are really good for your aquariums and that's pretty much what this video is gonna be about. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video to get all the advice and all the information and, and um, let's get straight into it. So the reason I like snails so much is because they help with the breakdown of detritus. So if you're wondering what detritus is, detritus is the buildup of all this kind of gunk in your aquarium. So if you can see in this corner, it's all like the poop and like all the extra food and all that stuff, old plant matter as well, kind of gets caught up in the bottom of the aquarium and uh, that's called detritus. Now what snails like to do is snails love to eat detritus and this is pretty much what they eat in the wild and they um, also love to eat algae. So in the aquarium, basically what detritus is, it's just old poop and stuff and it's all breaking down and turning into ammonia and then becoming part of the nitrogen cycle. So when we have heaps and heaps of ammonia in the aquarium, obviously it's really bad and it can cause a lot of problems with our fish. But if we have things like snails in our aquarium when, and they're breaking down the detritus into smaller parts and making it a quicker cycle and balancing it out, it's actually really beneficial to the aquarium because the cycle is shortened and more stuff's getting broken down and it's actually helping to have less ammonia in the aquarium. So when we have snails, there's tons of different types of snails that you can have. So in here, I have a ton of ram's horn snails and these guys I got, uh, they're like a, considered a pest snail. I got these with a bunch of plants that I had and that's normally what happens in the aquarium hobby is people will buy plants and they'll come on the plants or there'll be like eggs on the plants. And what snails do is they lay uh, big gel kind of uh, lumps with tons of little eggs and stuff in it. So there was one on here, if you can see, this is what snail eggs look like. And so they lay them around the aquarium and they breed like crazy. Now, a problem that people have with snails is they think that they eat the plants and they think that they um, eat the fish and stuff like that. So a lot of people will see like snails on a dead fish and then they'll think, oh, well, the, the snails eat my fish. And the truth is the fish probably just died and the snails are just feeding and breaking down that fish into smaller little pieces. So like a lot of people think that the snails are actually gonna eat the fish and the plants and stuff. And the truth is snails only really feed on dead stuff and poop and just uh, excess stuff. So they can help to clean up the aquarium and break down all those things and make the aquarium a safer ecosystem for your fish. Now, a problem with snails is overpopulation and competition for food. So by having snails in your aquarium and then breeding like crazy, they can actually outcompete a lot of the fish in your aquarium for things like zucchini and beans and stuff, especially when we have bristlenose catfish like these guys who are breeding and there's heaps of them who all need a bite of food. When you drop a big piece of like cucumber in there, the snails can outcompete the uh, bristlenose because a big swarm of them will just come and cover up the whole entire thing. Now the solution to this is really quite simple. It's just to get your hands in there and you can just crush the snails up into food for other fish and it sounds hard, uh, like sounds pretty brutal, but that's just a really good way to deal with it. Or you can just take them out and you can put them into another aquarium where you can sell them. A lot of people like to have puffer fish in their aquarium and we don't really have many of those in Australia and I don't keep them personally, but puffer fish love to feed on snails. So what a lot of people do is they'll have a tank with a puffer fish in it like in their display tank and they'll just drop all the snails in there and the puffer fish will eat the snails. Now, I believe snails are really good because they actually do help a lot with your uh, breakdown of your detritus, like all this stuff, and it helps the plants to grow because there's more nutrients available in the water and it helps with the balance of the ecosystem. Now, a lot of people are completely against snails and I can completely understand this because snails do kind of look weird and they do add another layer of maintenance to your aquarium. But if you appreciate snails, the way I do and for what they do in the wild, um, snails are really beneficial. And one weird thing that I've noticed about snails, and here, I'll show you a bunch of the snails in here. So one really weird thing I've noticed about snails is that kids seem to love them. So every time I've got like my little cousins and stuff over, they always kind of like look at the snails and are super fascinated by snails. And I really don't know why. I think uh, they do look cool and, um, I mean, they're just super like interested by them. And like, so that could be another reason that you keep your snails. I mean, it's entirely up to you. These are a couple of reasons why I keep snails in my aquariums. And this is just some food for thought for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys got something out of this. 
Um, I definitely do think snails are good and I don't think there's really any pest snails, uh, especially in Australia where I live. So there's not really much to worry about, just to keep that population down and make sure they're not beating your fish for food and um, you can have heaps of success with these guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.